You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Are you spiraling? Let me explain spiraling. Spiraling is a um, it's a concept that uh, originated um, in West Africa. It's basically it's a spiritual thing. Spiraling just basically means this. Okay, today is Sunday, June 9, twenty nineteen. Now I'm at a certain place in life. I'm at a certain place in life, have a certain amount of money, have a certain amount of satisfaction in my life. For me to spiral, this time next year, I would need to have more money in my account and in in, in even a better place in life. That's what spiraling means. Or let's say, let's, 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 let's say on this day, Sunday, uh, June 9th, 2019 I'm not in a good financial position let's just say I'm struggling (laughs) let's just say I'm in a position let's say ultimate struggle I got fired from a job let's use that I got fired from a job no money in the savings no real job prospects you know danger of being put out of my uh, put it out of my place the car broke down (laughs) Let me just add some stuff in. <laughs> you know, the woman left me. It's like, shoot. <laughs> oh, man. It, it, my dirt dog ran away. <laughs> yeah. Now, none of that stuff is funny, but I'm just saying, let's just say I'm just in a terrible position in life. Shoot, favorite sports team just lost a game. <laughs> man. Be like in one of those positions, like people will like come to me and say, "Well, uh, Rom, give me a number." He give him a number. He say, "Okay, I'm gonna play the total opposite because <laughs> it, it's just bad luck." Now I would spiral if this time next year. Okay, I'm in a bad position, but this time next year I have a good paying job. I have a steady place to live. The dog decided to come back home and got a new woman. That's spiraling. Now, another example of spiraling, let's say I'm in, a, I'm in that good position again with the money, um, you know, happiness. But then on May, I mean, June, I still, I'm still thinking this May, on June 9th, 2020, uh, the money's funny. And that woman done rolled out. <laughs> the dog ran away again. Because since the money was funny, I couldn't feed it. You know, dogs. Shit, they they only so loyal. So anyway, right? <laughs> all right. So basically, all spiraling is is you better the next year. You're spiraling upwards, whatever your circumstance was a year later, and you'll find that going through life, you're one of the. And this is a this is a deeper observation. Anybody can make this observation. Usually, stuff happens around the same time. If your car breaks down. And like in March of one year, and then the next year, your car break down again for something else. You're like, damn, what happened? But if you know, all right, this happens like a couple years, this always happens. This boom, you take it to another level and say, okay, I know to like really look at, get my car looked at before anything happens. You're spiraling. Like any movement upwards, like your life is better. You always want to move through it. And like I say, it's a deep science to it because you have, um, you'll find that stuff tends to happen around the same time every year. Like there's going to be some periods, there's going to be some months where you seem more attractive to women or if you're a woman, more attractive to men. And then some months, you well, you're going through some droughts. But then you spiral if during those times you usually go through droughts, you actually meet a mate. Because the thing and the beauty of it is, once you see what's happening, you can change it. And it's a, it serves as a marker. Even if you ain't into the deeper metaphysics of it, it can serve as a marker. 
And that's actually something like retail retail stores do. They always judge themselves by what they did the previous year. That's their sales goal. So if they made, say it's a small store, it made 20,000, made 20,000 one, um, like in 2019, in June of uh, 2019, made 20,000. It would be spiraling, that store would be spiraling if in June of 2020, it made 25,000. But then it would be spiraling in a backwards manner if it made uh, 15,000. And it's a powerful thing. It's, you, you can use it to mark everything, but you can always say, look, and the key to spiraling and understanding it, you always want to get better than the year before. You always want to do better. Whether it's just having an overall quality of life, uh, more money, more job satisfaction, uh, you've perfected a skill. And so the question anyone has to ask is, are they spiraling? Because no one is meant to stay still. Our bodies, our bodies aren't the same. Like many people think once they, you know, once they reach adulthood, once they stop growing, that's it. No, your body's still changing because you always have cells dying all the time. The cells are dying every day. Cells are dying every day. That's, shoot, that's why you bathe to get rid of dead skin. Those are dead cells. But you always, you always add in new cells in. So your body's not even staying still. See, people can't stay still. You're either moving forward or or upwards or you're going down. And you've seen that with some people. Everybody probably has known several people, but at least one person. You just watch them and it's like, man, they, they really falling off. They are falling off. And you're just like, wow. So the question, but see, you don't worry about that other person. You worry about you. Are you doing better than the year before? Is Are you happier than the year before? Or if you're sad. Now, see, here's the thing. Say you, you look at your life and you're like, you know what? I've been on a downward spiral for years. The beauty of spiraling is you're not, the beauty of spiraling means you're not stuck anywhere. You are not stuck in any uh, situation. I don't care what it is. I don't care how bad life looks. I don't care what's going on. You are not stuck in it. But the key to get out is you got to make a choice. You have, a, you have to make a choice at that moment. You're saying, you know what, I ain't going down any further. And it, it, you don't have to, it don't have to be all of a sudden. Like, oh, here's a big thing. Like people always, you know, especially in this culture where we waste food, many people are overweight. And some people have trouble. But if you make a choice, you are like a real choice, you don't accept it. You're just like, you know what, I got to lose this weight. And you just say, you know what, I'm going to go up. I'm going to spiral up. I'm going to take it one day at a time. See, that's the beauty. See, once you, that choice is a small thing. When you decide you want to spiral up, all you have to do is make that decision and stand firm in that position. Have faith that you can make it happen. And then you can start moving up slowly. You can start moving up slowly, 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 and you can spiral up. And if you do that, here's the thing. That's the beauty of marking it by a year. So say on June 9th, 2019, you had a low place. But then on that day, on, on June 9th, 2019, you say, you know what? I can't take this anymore. I'm going to spiral up. I, I, just, listen, I just listen to Ron. And he said, I need to spiral. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make that decision. Now, everything ain't going to change by June 16th, 2019. It ain't, ain't going to be that. Like a change might be tiny. And that tiny thing is just a thought. But when June 9th, 2020 comes, you look back and say, wow, I've come a long way. And that's how it works. It's a one day at a time. One day at a time. You got to take things one day at a time. Because the spiral, it don't have to be quick. But it could be just a slow climb up those spiral staircases. So I want people to really uh, meditate on what I just said. So I want you to keep rising and transforming. Peace.